please. Visiting friends and members that greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to our fortnight of convocation. Our power will be moved to get your blessing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a, it's, a it's a good thing, it's a good feeling to be in the house of the Lord this night. And I expect everyone to praise the Lord, to stand up on your feet, to give the Lord everything within you. Praise Him with understanding. We don't serve a dead God, and I don't expect to have a dead church. All right, if you allow me before I read the scripture. I want to get me asked for 15 minutes just to set things straight, you know. Pastor, Pastor, many, many people, people don't know what, know what it feels, feels like, like to sacrifice, sacrifice to prepare the ground. Many, many per persons just want to reaper their own soul. soul. And, and I'm praying that, that we have some souls. But we allow the reapers for a season until they learn the craft of sowing. We are here tonight, saints. I'm expecting you to open your hearts to God. We won't be tugging or pulling anybody. Because he has done enough for us. The fact that we are here. The fact that he chose us. That he gave us another chance. That his grace and his mercy is still available. Is enough for us to give him thanks. Many persons don't know the toils and the suffering of sowing. And still have to find joy in doing it. So because we understand the purpose and the benefit of such, we continue to do so. To prepare the atmosphere for deliverance, for restoration, for healing. The topic said, how far will you go to get your blessing? How much are you willing to sacrifice? How much are you willing to open your heart to God? To be in obedience, to be willing to do whatever he requires of you. Don't be in the house of God and be a time waster. Do not waste his time. Don't waste God's time. It's not time for, we're not in the days of foolishness. It's a serious time we're living in saints. We should come in the house of God's lively stones, built up together, ready to learn. Said so the high and sharp net high end. Many a times we sit on our own blessings, not knowing we're being our own blockages. But tonight I pray that we won't waste God's time, nor even our time. I tell myself this long ago, that I will not go to, go to hell through church. And many of us will be doing that, but I won't be one of them. Tell yourself that you won't, and you're willing to make it. And at the end of the day, I want to hear, good, well done, good and faithful servant entering. God bless you. We're going to go to our scripture reading tonight. It's from Esther chapter 4. <clears throat> going to ask Brother Peter to do the honor of reading Bible scripture tonight. Shower praise the Lord, church. Come on, I know you can do better than that. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our night's lesson is taken from Esther chapter 4, reading from 1 through to the end. If you have found it, please say amen. And I will read while you look on. And it reads thus. When Mordecai perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry and came even before the king's gate, for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews, 
and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved, and she sent raiment to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him, but he received it not. Then, then called Esther for Hatach, one of the king's chamberlains, whom he had appointed to attend upon her, and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know what it was and why it was. So Hatash went forth to Mordecai unto the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. And Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him, and of the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. And he gave him the copy of the writing of the decree that was given as Shushan to destroy them, to shew it unto Esther, and to declare it unto her, and to charge her that she should go in unto the king, to make supplication unto him, and to make requests before him for her people. And Hathash came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again Esther spoke unto Hathash and gave him commandment of, unto Mordecai. All the king's servants and of the people and the people of the king's provinces do know that whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner court, who is not called, there is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king should hold out the golden scepter, that he may live. But I have not been called to come in unto the king these thirty days. And they told to Mordecai Esther's words. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house, more than all the Jews. For if thou art altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who know it whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Then Esther bade them return Mordecai this answer. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. 17 and ending. So Mordecai went his way, and did according to all that Esther had commanded him. This is the ending of reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Esther said, if I perish, I perish, but I must see the king. After 12 last night, while I was sitting on the chair, I was there going some thoughts, you know, the Holy Spirit was downloading some stuff in my spirit and that came to mind and I decided to, um, to read it. But tonight, what are you willing to sacrifice for God? What are you willing to let go of, the thing that you love the most for God? Esther said, if I perish, I perish. So she didn't care she was going to die, but she must accomplish that which is the will of God and in the best interest of her people. You know, the persons who are out there, the persons who serve or worship their idols, their false god, they make many sacrifices which is unlawful. And we sit comfortable. We are spiritual beings in a physical body. We deal spiritually. And you have to know God. It makes no sense to say you're going to get baptized, fill with oil, going to sit down, expect God's going to drop things on your lap. Uh-uh. And it... Mm -mm, it's not going to work. We're living in a spiritual world where the enemy is waging, raging war, even this present while we're here tonight. He does not want to see the things of God in operation. 
He doesn't want to see your soul saved. He don't want to see you praise and worship the Lord. He don't want to see you get your deliverance. What are you willing to sacrifice? Are there blood dripping on your altar? If this night the Lord said, give up your husband, your wife, your children, your job, your money, whatever is it that you love, are you willing to do that? As the preacher encouraged us Tuesday night, we should not be waiting for the rapture, but what we should be raptured, what we should be raptured daily, prepared, waiting. The saints, it's not time to play around. It's not time to play with God. Many a times we are in the house of the Lord thinking that, yes, we are saved. We are not. We surround ourselves with things of God, but we don't have the love of God in our hearts. We preach, we teach, we sing. We do everything that pertains to God, but we do not love God. I pray tonight, when you're, while you're here, to may give your heart, to your mind, surrender everything. I'm not in the foolishness. I don't play with God. None of us are perfect, but that's no excuse to do rubbish. So let us stand tonight to our feet. We're going to praise the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Render the praises you want. He said, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. We're going to stand to our feet tonight. We are here to praise the Lord. If you are sick, God is a healer. If you need deliverance, he's your deliverer. Let us stand up tonight. Shake yourself. Shake whatever it is off. And for the few hours that we'll be here, let us praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him with understanding, with an understanding heart. The Lord seek true worshipers. I remember that we are live with stone joined together. And in, if you don't understand, he said, in all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom cried out in the street. The Bible said, be wise, double minded. And he that lack understanding, ask of the Lord, and he will give you such. So let us praise the Lord, saints. Let us praise the Lord, saints. Come on, I know you can do better. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To my right, let me hear you say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hold it, hold it. Come on, to my right, praise the Lord. Lucy said, come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Redeem, when my burden of sin was passed. Redeem, when my burden of sin was passed. Redeem, when my burden of sin was passed. 
when my soul comes to die, we did for the fight I could not get my own we did we did when my brother not seen was high we did when my soul comes back to God, we need to be
Oh, when the morning comes, when all the saints fall down the river, we will dance in the morning. We will dance in the morning. We will tell the story. Tell me a story. We will just a little while to rest. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sins, let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure your voice is more stronger than mine tonight. Let's praise the Lord. Let's stand upon your feet and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us call his name, Jesus. Let us call his name, Jesus. Jesus. Let us call his name, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Rest your feet in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Your word, God. Hallelujah. Your blood prevails, Jesus. Hey, Bashata. Sanctify this atmosphere, Lord. Saturate this atmosphere with your blood tonight, Jesus. You're welcome in our midst. Hey, Bashata. You're welcome in our presence. Hey, Let it be a Oh, God, saturate this spot of God, God. Oh, Riakoto Shatai. May your presence, may your sweet anointing, may your Holy Spirit move a coach. Breathe it, Shatai. Breathe it, O Shatai. Roturu Shikoto Shatai. Ima Makoto Shatai. Let nothing that is on like you start now. Consume in fire. Burn Rushakata. Ima Makoto. Frukutu Shatai. 
May your angels be basata. Curfew this place, Yabahai. Mandrubusha. Cast out every unclean spirit, Ebasa. Your blood, Eko Shibahaya. May your blood be upon each and every acre, Sata. Imama Sata. May your blood and your fire represent us tonight, eh? Imama Koto Shata. Rokoto Shata. May demons flee and devils tremble. Imako Shata. At the sound of your name, Jesus. Saturate this spot of ground, sanctify it. May be easy to praise. May your word go forth easily here. May testimonies go forth easily. May yokes are shatter, be broken, chains be echo satire, souls be delivered. Huh? Oh God, we will not leave the same way we came. Huh? How far will you go for your blessing? How much are you willing to shatter to allow me to shake the spirit of our spirit, the power who can set in that I'm God of the faithful shatter. The power can contain you. Nothing unclean shall stop. In his midst. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. May angels descend and ascend in this place tonight. Let no one leave the way they came. Huh? We are spiritual beings. We deal spiritually. We enter into the spiritual and we tear down every yakasata. Everything that will rise up here. Oh God, we shoot your blood. Hey? And we blind the eyes and the ears of every yakasata. Everything this night, God, that will stop stand against you. Oh God, tear it down. Bang the strong man. Oh God, shit. Set your people free tonight. Set your people be free tonight. Let them be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Set them, release them. Release them from the cares of life. From the pride of Eke Satan. Oh God Almighty, loose them, loose their feet, loose their eyes. Oh, Koshata, loose their minds, Eva. They are very so conscious that there be no partition. I call into alignment everyone here tonight. Oh God, I call everyone's souls, mind, heart, Eva, into alignment according to the will of God. May heaven stand for us tonight. May heaven fight for us tonight. Oh God, there are sacrifices tonight. Be before you, Jesus. Oh God, may we be accepted. Oh God, let nothing stop our prayers or praise in the heavenly realm. Oh God, may they pass you high above principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. Oh God Almighty, thank you, Jesus. Tonight we're going to take some testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great is your mercy. Yes, great is your mercy towards us this night. Great is your mercy. I declare and I decree freedom over each and every one of us tonight. And that our hearts will be open to the word of God, to his administration, and to that which he desire of this night. May it be completed. May it be well done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I greet you once again in the matchless name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and testify in Jesus' name. There must be something that God has done for you. And even if not, it is enough to say, thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead and testify in Jesus' name. Then and they are borrowed, they are not mine at all. Jesus, oh, they let me stay to. So remind 
that I love and hold thee to my heart. They are not mine at all. No. But Jesus, oh, you let me stand. He brought me So I remind you, remind want to worship God tonight because he's a good God. But we are so much of a failure to this living God. It says, how far do we go for the blessings? You know, Esther do three days and nights and some people doing one day and they are drinking water. They're doing half day and they are drinking water. But it takes a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Jesus. Sacrifice. Serving God, it takes sacrifice. Yes, Hallelujah. And I pray to God that we will seek the face of God. That he will draw us back to where we are coming from. Show us where we could have been. Because we are human. And oh God, humans forget. But remind us today, Lord. Hallelujah. Remind us tonight, Jesus. No, first of all, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Go ahead and testify in Jesus' name. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's privilege to be in the house of God one more time. Praise the Lord. I greet everyone in their respectable places. Praise the Lord. I'm here for the first time. And the team is, how far would you go for God? Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. And tonight, I'm asking somebody, how far would you go for God? When you worship, you're giving a praise. When you open your mouth, you're giving a praise. When you clap your hands, you're giving a praise. When you're standing on your feet, you're giving a praise. 
How far will you go from God tonight? Hallelujah. Just worship God tonight and watch what God will do for you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. When I look around and see, hallelujah, what the Lord has done for me, it makes me want to go all the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When I look at where I'm coming from, hallelujah. When I look at where I could have been, hallelujah. when I look at where I was, uh, and I look at where I am now, all I can say is, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For rescuing me. All I can say is thank you, Lord, for considering me and the myth that I was. Hallelujah. When you see me praising God tonight, Hallelujah. when you see me worshiping tonight, Hallelujah. when you see me giving him thanks tonight, Hallelujah. just know that he has been good to me. You pray my strength in Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 I have no desire to go back again, so that time is hard. I'm not to I'm not to be trapped. Hear my cry when I call on you. Oh. In my throat when I go for you, I can't be too defiant, 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 so <laughs> Go ahead and testify in Jesus' name. Taking four more testimonies. Go ahead, testify. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Okay, 
Halleluja. My God. Yes, he's a doctor. Say, Bashata. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, it's a winner. Hallelujah. 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 Up on this one. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When I look up the road and I wonder how far I was from God, I buckled up my shoes and I started. Hallelujah. And somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And somebody say hallelujah. Truly tonight, praise God, your team said, how far will you go? But unless we abide in the vine, we will not make it. Because the word of God said, if you don't abide in me, and my word abide in you, and if we don't abide, we cannot make it. So tonight, my talk to us, let us abide in the word. Let us abide in the Lord, and we will, must make it to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me hear the church praise the Lord. Let me hear the church worship the Lord. Hallelujah. How will they turn his faith? Thanksgiving in our heart. And then turn his court with praise. Amen. The song writer said, look what Jesus did when he washed me. When he washed me with the blood of the Lamb. Praise God. Tonight, let me extend greetings to each and every one of the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are at Liberty Hall to praise God. Many places have to hide and praise God. But tonight, we are back is not against the wall. We have a right to praise Him. <laughs> Glory to the day. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. On the day of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. On the day of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Fire fall on me. Fire fall on me. On the day of Fire fall on me. On the day of Fire fall on me when you shit. The team said she was the Spider-Pro, <laughs> So, 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 so,
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I want to encourage someone. I want to ask this question. What's your mission here tonight? What is your purpose to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Are you qualified to be in his presence? What, have, what is it that brought you here? Be honest to yourself. Many times we ask God questions, but sometimes we need to stop, ponder, think upon these things. He said to Job in um, chapter 40, verse 7, he said, Gird up thy lines now like a man and answer him. If the Lord should demand of you tonight of answer, what will your answer be? What will your response be? We should ponder on these things. I read in Isaiah, I think it was Sunday, when he said, and, and it rests with me throughout the week. He said, he, you have blinded their eyes. He said, in my own way, imagine, they use part to warm their body, part to roast meat, and they use the rest to bow down to it. And he said, in their heart, they haven't pondered upon these things, even though he blind their eyes. But they still do not stop to take check. And if pre-adventure, they should ponder what you think will happen. God will open their eyes that they will be able to see. So then I'm asking us to ponder. <clears throat> ponder upon your ways. The thing that you are doing, ponder upon him. God, am I walking right? Am I talking right? I am doing the, or am I doing the things I, I'm supposed to do? Am I serving you in the beauty of holiness? It's whatever things are true, whatever things are pure, whatever things are holy. Think upon these. I'm encouraging saints tonight just to open your hearts and your mind to God. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, he said, <clears throat> It shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on eye above all the earth i've come to the end of the testimony service our time is far spent i'm just encouraging us or whatever we do what we're doing for god do it in the right way let us please him like when he look on us he don't turn his face away let's not waste god's time we are on our jobs daily whatever jobs we try our best to please our bosses because we want to get pay Right? We're looking at the end. No matter what, we have to suffer. Persecution, affliction. Many times they've robbed us of the day we have to worship. Miss Simon was trying to say, boss, I have to leave by 4.30. And she was still giving me stuff to do. And that's what God made it that a customer came and said, I'm going to Spanish. And I said, yes. I said, I got to run because I got to be in church. What does the cross of Jesus mean to you? What does the emblems on his chains mean to you? What does his blood mean to you? Pond upon these things. Come, let us reason together, the Lord said. He loves to talk. But you just cannot find that one person who is interested to spend time with him. I bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I now hand over the rest of the service to my pastor. The one who watch over this house, the God has set over this house. He has made sacrifices sacrifices blood is dripping upon this altar so when you come in this house expect to get deliverance expect to leave not the way you came but a bet at a better place if you only believe in jesus name god bless you pastor i know i'm going service to you in jesus name god bless you god bless you sister broomfield praise the name of jesus Amen, amen, amen. She come gear up tonight to worship God. Amen. She get the assignment before, but for some reason, the enemy attack her throat. So the way how she wants to sing and to worship, amen, she was not able to because of the hoarseness that was in her throat. She called me today and said, Pastor, I still go moderate in spite of my throat get attacked. I said, I know it's the enemy. And we have been getting attacked from weak because the devil don't want it to happen. But nevertheless, I'm glad that hell is disturbed. I said, I'm glad that hell is disturbed because the gates of hell. Praise the name of the Lord. Right at this time, praise Jesus. We're moving on.
Amen. Evangelist Moore will be coming with, amen, the welcome in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I must read the Holy Ghost. Is it indeed the end of my life? Praise the Lord. My pastor, Pastor Dwayne Murray. Praise the Lord. Each and every one of you visiting friends, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to all to stand at this time. Praise the Lord. We want to welcome, praise the Lord, in this atmosphere, a wonderful person. Stand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the reason why I'm living. He is the Jehovah Nissi, the Jehovah Nass. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We want to honor him tonight with a bow. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I thank you all. Praise the Lord. We have some wonderful folks. Praise the Lord. That take the time to come and to visit us. I'm standing here. I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired from last week. Praise the Lord. We have to be, you know, shovel because there was a partition right there. And, you know, they lick out the wall. Then, you know, when all the rubbish is there, we have to take the, 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 the shovel and, you know, to carry it down, you know, the stairs is. Praise the Lord. And then, you know, we have families to tend to. Praise the Lord. Baby to tend to. Everything. Praise the Lord. Work. Praise the Lord. So, me standing there, I'm really, really tired. Praise the Lord. But nevertheless, the anointing made a difference. And, you know, anything to do for God, I'm willing to go all out for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going, as I going to call your name, I'm asking you to stand to be acknowledged. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are Grace and Truth Apostolic Church. We are Brother Alex Cole. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have an Emmanuel Apostolic Church, 1A Barrett Avenue, Pastor Ellison, Evangelist Ellison, and Saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have Elder Sparks from the Apostolic Deliverance Worship. Sorry. Apostolic Worship and Deliverance Ministries. 10 Carly Road, praise the Lord. We have Elder Sparks and Saints. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God bless you. We have Bishop V. Dawkins from the Bethany Apostolate Fellowship Center, Maypen, and Miss Paper, if I'm correct. From Mission of Poison, praise the Lord. Excuse the writing, praise the Lord. So we have Bishop V. Dawkins. Missioner, Poison, and Saints. <laughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We are from the True Witness Apostolic Church, Lower Mall Road, Elder or Knights and Saints. Elder Knights alone, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Also, we have from the Calvary Apostolic Church, we have Pastor Wilson and Saints. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We have, I'm sure if any other, I know we have evangelists, evangelists, Edwards, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I must say, praise the Lord, I give honor to this woman of God, praise the Lord, because she's the reason why I'm in church, praise the Lord, because I, when I was 14 years old, praise the Lord, you know, I, I, I grew up in Whitehall Avenue, and our mother keep us in, so we didn't get to go anywhere, so because of witness, Praise the Lord. She came to our door. Praise the Lord. And invite us to church. Because remember, 
my mother wasn't saved. Nobody in my family was saved. Praise the Lord. And she came to our door and witnessed to us. And every Sunday, she sent taxi for us from White House to come to Warrell Christian. Praise the Lord. And that by and by, there and then, at the age of 17, I got baptized. And I give God thanks for this woman of God. And I'm still in church. Praise the Lord. Over 23 years. Praise the Lord. And I have to give God thanks. That's why I love do what to do and out do ministry. I don't like in church and the pulpit. I like the door to do to reach a soul, the backslider, the, the, you know, the, 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 the prostitutes, those that are right, written enough. Praise the Lord. We, our purpose is to go out there and to reach those at any cost. Praise the Lord. And I give God thanks for her. Praise the Lord. Any other church that is here that we might overlook, if you are here, we ask if you could stand and to be acknowledged. Any other church? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. For Bishop Robinson from Mount Glory, Saints Video and Saints. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Any other? Any other? Praise the Lord for those from the community. Praise the Lord. All the unsaved in the house, I ask you to stand. Those from the community, we just ask you to stand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give God thanks for them. Praise the Lord. And our aim, some of us sitting at the back there. Praise the Lord. Happy to have you in upper room apostolate. Praise the Lord. Feel free to worship the Lord. You're in liberty, Lord, and we cleanse your soul in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Back to our pastor in Jesus' name. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. My soul does magnify the Lord, church, and my spirit praise his name. Not even could not hold him captive, even in the grave. Yes, he is long to say Oh, 
God. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Let me honor my Lord and my King, Jesus Christ, who is the captain of my ship, the keeper of my soul. Is my anchor, my rock in a weary land, my shelter in the time of storm. Amen. Greetings to all my fellow laborers in the gospel. Amen. On the rustum. Amen. The musician, praise God. Amen. To the one standing at the door. Amen. And we want to apologize for those who were overlooked. Not really yet have an usher. Amen per se. Praise God. We just jump in and do a thing. Amen. Praise be the God. In the best way we know how. Praise the name of Jesus. Greetings to all my wonderful. Amen. Family in the congregation. Brothers and sisters. Amen. Even the one who are unsaved. Praise be the God. They are our brothers and our sisters. They just don't know it yet. And we welcome them tonight. The backsliders. Amen. You are welcome. Feel at home. Amen. This is Liberty Hall. This is God house. Amen. Nobody here own no church. It's God church. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you feel a dance in your feet. Get up and dance. If your feet say run. Just run. Just remember God is a spirit and they that worship him. We do it because that's the only way we can please him in the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we're not going to hold up things tonight. We want to give God thanks. Amen. For the fortnight of the feast. Amen. We're coming a far way. Monday night. Amen. Church start late. Because I reach early with my family. And praise be to God. When I reach. Amen. At the stoplight in the vehicle. I remember the church key. Went in the pocket. Took out. Amen. Taxi fear. And leave the key. Same place in the pocket. Have to turn back. To get the key. Have the saints standing out there waiting. Amen. When church over Monday night. It was about 11. Or a little bit after. Over. Praise God. But nevertheless, God did come down in the house and bless our soul. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And it did not stop there. The enemy did not satisfy. Amen. And he continued to raise his ugly head. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. The second day. Amen. My phone always drop. Amen. And never get damaged. And the devil speak and decided that, listen, there ain't going to be no converse, convocation, no connection. Amen. For the people that we invite to can keep communication with them. Amen. He mash up the phone. The phone drop on the face. Amen. Everything was destroyed. The face mash up. The touch stop work. And then ink just begin to run all over. Amen. Leave me without a phone. But nevertheless, I still trust God. And all the devil is saying that you ain't going to have no convocation. Both you have convocation. Amen. I look at the devil and say, listen, it's God church and we're going to have service tonight. We are going to have service and we did have service. Listen, people of God. I recognize that we got to be determined. Serving God is a determination. Comes what may. We got to be determined. Amen. Wednesday again, attack come. And today again, more attack come. Amen. But we are here tonight. I'm in the house. We are in the house. And I know that many can testify that something happened. That you could have not been here, but because of determination, you already purpose in your heart to be in the house of the Lord. And so we are here, amen, to shake hell tonight, to make hell tremble, to make the kingdom of darkness king, uh, put them under pressure in the name of Jesus. The theme for this convocation, how far? Will you go to get your blessing? Praise the name of the Lord. And we have been hearing some stern word from weak, from the preachers that preach. Amen. They help us to understand. Amen. Oh, far to go in God. Amen. And oh, far you go in other things. Amen. And to pull out of and come back. Amen. In alignment with God. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. And right at this time, amen, we're going to get some quick greetings. Amen. From these men of God. Amen. That are on the farm tonight. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. I think I did hear an elder name call down there. Praise be to God. Amen. I'm going to start from you first, sir. Praise be to God. You can come and greet us at this time in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I greet you. I welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. First and foremost, give reverence unto God. And I bring greetings to you from the Apostolic Worship and Deliverance Center, that's at 10 Color Road. And the pastor is Pastor Hyatt. And it's a joy and an honor to be in the house of God, here to worship God. So saints of God, as the theme is, how far are you willing to press your way? And tonight can be that night when pressing your way, you can touch the hem of his heart. Jesus, then Bishop, Bishop Dawkins, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Evangelist Edwards, praise be to God. Amen. Elder Knight will come, but he also will not only greet, he will raise our offering for us in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise God. I must greet Jesus Christ. He is the head of my life. And he is our soon coming king. So we greet him. Hallelujah. God is good. Also host pastor. God bless you, sir. God bless you and all the dignitaries here. Everybody in Jesus name. My wife sitting on the outside. She's a little hot. Heat. The heat is on, but God is good. Hallelujah. 
how far will you go? But I put it to say, how far will I go? Hallelujah. Some person might curse Jacob, but I would be like Jacob. Hallelujah. Jacob wrestled because the angel was in his territory. I mean, the angel of the Lord. And Jacob said, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. Hallelujah. Then I look on this all the way to Calvary. He went for me. And if he went all the way to Calvary for me, it was for my purpose. And I have reason to go the extra mile to be with my Savior. There's no stopping. Hallelujah. Esther decided to perish. And that was for, from the king, the earthly king. It says, if I perish, I perish. But as the first to Jesus Christ, when you meet Jesus, hallelujah, when you go the extra mile to meet Jesus, there is nobody, no devil in hell can stop you. Hallelujah. She made it. And God bless you, everybody, in Jesus' name. Let me apologize for not having enough fans, but the next time you come, we will have more, and you'll be more cooler. AC also, we're speaking it in the atmosphere. Shall we worship the king? Shall we worship the king? Shall we worship the king? Hey, hallelujah. Surely I must get honor to God tonight. Amen to the host pastor and his wife, to Rastam Associate, musicians, saints of God, where we serve, uh, and all those that have come along with me tonight, happy to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bring greeting from our Doria Apostolic family. Oh, hallelujah. I believe tonight it's a night uh, when God is about to speak to somebody. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> I don't know if you understand <laughs> what, what I say. God, He's going to speak to somebody tonight. <laughs> and if you get your. <laughs> no, no, God. If you get yourself ready, get yourself equipped, get yourself moving, stand it up. Oh, Lord, and you go for your blessing. I believe tonight I go from 72 and I still don't satisfy. I need more. So it's not about coming to church. It's not about setting your name in a church book. It's about to worship and to glorify him and to let him know. Praise the name of Jesus. Just before Bishop come, amen, let me welcome, amen, also my good friends and brothers in the house tonight, amen. You see the lovely streaming going on, amen, brother Gary Parrish, amen, and brother Alex, amen. They purpose, amen, to do our streaming for us and the fortnight of our convocation, and we want to give God thanks for them. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody, clap your hands and give God praise. Amen. And for those who don't know our YouTube channel, amen, and our Facebook, amen, church page, praise God, you can contact, get the website, amen, and subscribe and like our page. God bless you. In Jesus' name, Bishop. Let the ready worship the Lord Jesus today. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? Amen. It is with great privilege and honor tonight to stand in the presence of God's wonderful people. We are in the upper room and we are giving God the glory. I just want to say greetings to House Pastor and to all the Wonderful people of God, I greet you all in Jesus' name. I say to you, sir, you are doing a good job. Amen. I believe the Lord is going to see you through. Amen. In spite of what may have been happening, God is with you. And I pray that God continue to open door 
when I see young men standing for God and work for him, my heart goes out for them. And we pray that he'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Evangelist Edwards, thank you, sir, for the word. We praise the Lord. Saints, just wave your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. God has been good to us. Amen. He woke us up this morning and he sent us on our way. Praise the Lord Jesus. And even for that, we have to give him thanks. Praise God. We just want to greet the host pastor, Pastor Murray, all the Rastam associates, all you sweet saints, the musicians, those who are streaming, we greet you in no other name but in the name of Jesus. Those who are visiting with us, praise the Lord from the community, we greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Praise God. The topic as he mentioned, how far will you go? Praise God. And the woman with the issue of blood, she has a need. There was a need. And so when she heard that Jesus was on spot, and the crowd was so thick, but guess what? She has a need and she pressed. Even if she had to get on her knees, Praise God. Even if her, she lost her shoes, she pressed. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I'm saying tonight, do you have a need? Do you have a need tonight? Praise God. Tonight is the night when you're going to press. Praise the Lord. Tonight is the night when you're not going to let go. As Jacob said, I will not let you go. Not until, until you bless me. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of Jesus. All our upper room family stand. All the upper room family. Jump up on your feet. Upper room family. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, give yourself a big round of applause. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. They are working with me. And I give God praise for them tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And so we're going into another section of our service. Amen. About a week ago, amen, we were only right here from right there with the front seat, the column there, to here, we were hot. And I told them on Sunday morning that, amen, we're going to get the wall down and we're going to get, amen, you know, expansion going, amen, within one week. I don't know if everybody believed, but with the help of God, in spite of the challenges, as my wife spoke earlier, it did happen. And it was about only four of us. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The truck men that came to help us with the, the rubbers to come out. Amen. We give God thanks for them. Look what Jesus did. Somebody thought it would not have happened. We said, God, we want more space. Amen. When the people come, amen, they can have more space to worship you. Amen. We don't have to be chucked up in the, just a small space. Amen. Somebody would say, why do you need more space for? Amen. And you're not a lot. Amen. But when God have a purpose on your life, you're not looking at the no. You're looking far ahead. Praise the name of the Lord. And I give God thanks tonight. Amen. The work is not yet done, but in one week, all of this happened. Praise God. This is a miracle. I challenged God from the Sunday to the Monday morning. I said, God, should I really lick down this wall or not? Even when the landlord said, yes, you can have the, the next side and give me even the key in my hand before I even pay any money for it. And we never even see any money yet. Praise God. I challenged God. Just like what Gideon did. Gideon asked God. He inquired. He said, show me a sign. I said, God, show me. 
a sign. On the Monday, a minister from overseas said, Pastor, I had a dream. The same thing I talk in the pulpit, that we're going to lick the wall down, and we're going to paint the whole place in white. He had the dream, see, I'm licking the wall down, getting, doing expansion, and paint the place in white. Everything that I spoke, like the guy was here. That is God. Look what Jesus did. That's what gave me the courage that God was in, is really in it. And he wanted to happen. Even when we didn't see anything. So I can only say to you, it's not me do it. It's nobody do it but God. Everything that provided so far, it is God. And the same God that bring us here will lead us further on to where we have to go. Amen. Elder Knight to you with his greeting and do the offering in Jesus. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it open the floodgates of let it come on, let it rain. One more time, open the floodgates up. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates up. In you. Let it rain. Amen. Praise God. When I came or before I came in, the worship was high. When I came in, the worship was even higher. I don't know if it's because it's offering time, the worship went down. But I believe that we have Good givers in the house tonight. I, I love the sound of the audio. Yes, it's very good. It makes my voice sound lovely. I can't sing, but it makes my voice sound lovely. You know the work that a leader or a pastor has to put in, especially when it comes to convocation. And I'm glad that you're here to give Pastor Murray and the Brethren here at Upper Room the support tonight. Just look at your neighbor and say, God has blessed you beautiful. And for those sisters, I say, your hat looks lovely. Your shoes look lovely. You are looking lovely. For the men just said, God has blessed me tremendously. Amen. Even if you're not wearing a jacket like Pastor Mori or my bishop here, God still has blessed you tremendously. And when you don't see him working, he's still working. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm going to ask of you to believe God. My evangelist said earlier, the woman had a need. And all of us have a need. But we want to give God tonight. And as I lift an offering, we're going to do a, 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 a love offering and we're going to do a general offering. I know in your mind, like in my mind, I had a fixed amount that I was going to give to God. But I changed it. Because, you know, yesterday I went and purchased a wall clock. A little clock bigger than that. And I went to various stores from $700 to $1,300. To 1,800. And when I bought the clock, I placed it in my bedroom because the one wasn't working. And when I got up this morning and I left, my wife told me that the clock stopped work. Already. And I said to her, you know, I throw away the receipt. So I know that it's a dead case. But I believe God. So when I came here this today, or coming here today, 
I made sure to stop at one of the cheapest gas stations. I don't know if you know it. The one down by three miles. And normally when I put in $3,000 or $4,000, it don't pass quarter tank. But I saw the needle moving up. And I said, yes, Lord, you're blessing me back with the $1,800 that I'm not getting. That is how God works. So sometimes when the devil takes it away, they call those shots. Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. God gives you back in return in a different way. Oh, glory to God. So no, I don't have to be long tonight because I see the beautiful faces. Where's the, where, I'm ready, you know. Yes, man. I'm going to give my $2,000. I told you I plan to give 100 and increase in it. And I want at least $30,000 in this container that is how much one person can give 30 dollars you know five thousand five thousand five thousand and not good at maths like the singing but i know when the money come i can calculate how will you come quickly with your thousand dollars come quickly brethren open the floodgates tonight pastor murray how will you come here sorry yeah, yes my sister your voice was tonight but you can hold the the, the, the container tonight. Amen. I want you to count to you now. No, man, I don't want you to move. I want you to come here, man. Listen to me, man. I don't want them run and go back. Amen. Amen. I want you to be checking for me, please. God is going to bless us tonight. Amen. Give to God tonight. It might have not been a crop that you purchased. But God is going to bring an increase tonight. I believe him. I believe him. Watch God work tonight. As we help strengthen the man of God and the saints here. Wonderful, wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory. Woo! Come up here, sister. Come over here, sir. Is the place you create to collect offering? Amen. Come on, my sister. Be of good courage. Oh, glory to God. They are coming. Amen. Is there any $500? I think I saw $5,000 going there, you know. Is there any $500? Come. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Amen. Hold on a little. You know what I love tonight? I saw the unsaved coming to give. Give them a clap. I love it tonight. It is not easy for an unsaved to, from the lower level to come up here to give. Give them a better clap than that man. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Are there any more $500? Awesome, God. Awesome, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have a choir tonight? I want four sisters to go over there. Quickly. We're forming a choir tonight. I, 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 no, man. I love your voice. You see? Yeah, man. I want some sisters to go over the choir. We're blessing up the place tonight. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You have any mic? Give them a the mic. Give them a mic. Give them a the mic. Oh, glory to God. Let's think of a song tonight. We're worshiping God. We're worshiping God. We're worshiping God. What an awesome God we serve tonight. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The choir is going to minister in song. <laughs> Woo! Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And we're going to give our general offering to God. In Jesus' name, oh, worship, worship, worship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to check it, Bishop Pastor, because I want to know that it reached the mark. Amen. You, you, no, man, I want you to come up in the middle. Yes, man, the cameraman can catch you any place. So you don't have to go too close. All if you go around at the corner, him half his zoom it round there. So, yeah. All right, my sister. Come on, choir.
I want you just to stand. We are short 4,500. Anyhow, we can get it. We want to move. We're going to pick up the pace. 4,500. And I'm going to give 500. So we need just $4,000 more. Could we just stand? Just could we just stand? We need four thousand dollars more. Thank you, Lord. For your blessing, come on, give it to God. Amen. Three thousand. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Glory. Give me that two five. Just give me two five. Give me that two five from that. Hallelujah. Oh, me. Thank you, Lord. You gave to God. So, hallelujah. So, hallelujah. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to ask, I don't know if they can do it, so that those who are on the Zoom platform can get to a chance to contribute. Praise the Lord. So you arrange that. God bless you. We're going to pray for the offering. Just stand if you can tonight. I feel God in the house still. I believe God. I thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know that you might not get it back in cash, but God is going to give you back in kind. And if it is to save you to, from not going to the doctor, to give the doctor that money, Come on, that lady testified about her fibroids, God is a good God. Yes. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Every time. You have that song? You have that song before we pray? Working on it? Amen. So let us pray. Father, we thank you, Jesus, tonight for those that gave to you, Lord Jesus. We pray, God, that you bring an increase in our lives. Lord, we know that you are a faithful God. We know, God, that when we give to you, Lord Jesus, it is more than we can imagine in return. And so, Father, Lord, pray, God, to give our increase. We gave God. God. God knows that I'm not happy to them. Praise the Lord. Come on, quiet. Maybe seated. Come on, quiet. Hallelujah. 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 We know that the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. We know that God is doing some things tonight. Hallelujah. And the best. Hallelujah. Is yet to come. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you believe tonight. Hallelujah. If you believe tonight. Hallelujah. The best is the best to come. The best to come. The first time I see sweet in it is so deep to my mind, and it is your home, and I have a feeling in my heart, the best thing yet to come, the best thing yet to come. <laughs>
Hallelujah, 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 yes, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, the best is yet to come. I said the best is yet to come. Jesus. Come on, go ahead and worship. Go ahead and worship. Go ahead, listen. Go ahead, listen. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. He's in the house. Shire. The atmosphere is right. He loves us our time. My God, my God, my God. Come on for another second. Turn your hands in the air and worship. Yeah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You can be seated if you can. We don't want to scare the visitors. You can be seated if you can. My God. Jesus. All right, musician. God bless you. Take your hands off the music. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, listen. The atmosphere is set for the preacher, but hold on. We have two somebody that we need to acknowledge. Amen. That we overlooked. And I apologize. Pastor Wilson down there. Amen. And also, I'm coming to you, Pastor Wilson. I'm coming to you. Amen. Somebody give her the mic. Let she give, amen, her greetings. From Pastor Wilson down there. And I see Bishop Stevenson just walking in from, amen, Lighthouse Apostolic in, in uh, Bull Bay. Praise be to God. Go ahead, Pastor Wilson. Give you a greeting. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I just want to be happy and to rejoice with you at your convocation. Mm -hmm. I must first greet the Rastrum Associate, the pastor of this assembly, and all you wonderful saints visiting ones. Jesus is real. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul said, for me to live is Christ. Some people might say, for me to live is riches. For me to live is faith. But for me to live is Christ. The heart up and the finisher of our faith. 
I must congratulate you as you know when we did, did the letter read Sunday so were wondering. I forget that I was the one who brought the invitation from Pastor Murray. Thomas Church. But I'm glad to be here tonight, although this step is hard for me to climb. And at a certain age, you can't do much I climbing. Thank God you're rich. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But I'm glad I'm here. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. We have the victory. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, if I be lifted up from this hurt, Esther said, if I perish, I shall follow Mahaya. I must see the king. She was on a mission and she would not stop. Evening yet, she had to save the Israelites. Saints, we have a mission. Our home is in glory. He's coming back. Let us work for him. Because our living will not be in vain. But we shall behold the king. When he comes, God bless you. Continue to work for him in Jesus' name. Bishop Stevens. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. I greet the Holy Spirit is the end of my life. I greet the host pastor, Pastor Murray. Praise God. Bishop. God bless you, sir. And Elder Knight and the rest are political observe in Jesus' name. And I greet everyone visiting friends. Praise God. I greet you all. I came in and I sat here a long time. And my soul was blessed to be in the house of God tonight. Praise God. The best is yet to come. My God, my God. And I can't wait to reach the best. And tonight, I am just here anticipating and waiting to get a word for my soul. May God bless you. May God keep you. Keep up the good work, Pastor Murray. You're doing a good work, sir. Don't come down. God bless you. Glad to see what you're doing. Looking forward to see you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. It's time for the word. Are we leaving out anyone? Praise God. Amen. It's time for the word. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And tonight, amen, we want everyone to stand to your feet while we introduce the speaker. And the, the, the speaker tonight is a ram caught in the ticket. <laughs> Amen. Elder Rowe is supposed to be our speaker tonight from Camp Road, South Camp Road. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But unfortunately, he could not be here. Amen. Praise God. But nevertheless, Jesus is here, which is the Holy Ghost. And so, God of a word for us tonight, even for myself, God of a word for everybody tonight. And we're going to hear a word from the Lord tonight. Amen. The choir that combine together and sing, God bless you. Wonderful. God is in this house. That's the same song I was singing last night. Amen. And the song come back tonight. The best. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. 
I dare not trust the sweetest way. Oh, only me on Jesus' name. See, my hope is built. It's built on nothing less than this than Jesus' blood. Hallelujah. And his own justice. I dare not trust the sweetest word. For only me on Jesus' name. I'm Christ the solid. This is what I say. Oh, on the ground is seeking sand. Oh, on the ground is sinking sand. When he shall come, he shall get some. Oh, may he then in him divine, dressed in his righteousness alone, and shut up, God bless the sun, he hold thy throne. Church, I'm Christ, that's hallelujah, we are right now, sir. Tonight on Christ, the solid the ground is singing, sir. Oh, Lord, the ground is singing. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I know up here is a bit hot, but we have some fun over there just in case. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. I honor my God and my Savior tonight. My Lord and my King, you can be seated. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As I said earlier, he's my reason for living. He is my source of survival. Amen. Every minute of the day, just give me Jesus. Turn your Bibles to St. Mark chapter 2. Glory to God. Stand one more time. We're going to pray. want to welcome my sister down there, Sister Allison de Aguilar. Praise be to God. Just wave your hand, says, that's my youngest sister. Amen. Amen. And my mom is in the house. Wave your hand, mommy. Amen. Lift up your hand again, because you're short. Make them see you. Wave your hand again. Praise God, praise. All right, amen. That That's my mom, praise God. Amen. Eternal God and our Father, we praise you and love you. As I stand around this sacred desk, God, I'm not my own, I belong to you. You predestined and ordained this time that I would stand here in this house, in this area, under this atmosphere, to speak to a set of people. You set up tonight, God. And so, Father, I let myself go into your hand. 
Here's my tongue, my vocal cord, my eyes, mouth, my ears, every part of my being, use it for your glory. Consecrate, sanctify one more time. And as you trust me with your anointing and your fire, God Almighty, I promise to bring you glory and I will thief none. Father, glorify yourself in this house. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sit upon me like liquid fire. Move through this congregation like never before. Let there be signs and wonders and miracles. Lord God Almighty, let this night go down into history like never before. In the name of Jesus, let somebody cry out, I heal. I cannot hold it out no longer. Father, any sick in our midst, let sickness dry up right now. Let every infirmity go. Let every demon and go. They come in one way. Let them flee seven ways in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rest your hand upon the congregation. Scatter principalities. Clear down stronghold. Shackle in the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify yourself in this house. Mighty God. Let your name be praised. These are not the mercies we humbly beg on us. Lord, you say, sign follow them that believe. And God Almighty, concerning believers that are in the house tonight, let sign follow your work and your word. Lord Jesus, let the dumb speak, the lame walk, the cripple. God, the deaf hear, the blind see. Lord God, the alf, Lord God Almighty, the lunatic, every spirit, I command you to go in Jesus' name. Every monetary demon, every altar protecting spirit, Lord God Almighty, every excess vexes, every voodoo, voodoo, and you too. Every black magic, white magic, blue magic, everything that's set up against this house and against your people. I command in the call in the name of Jesus Christ. I shut down principality. I shut down powers. I shut down hell with its plan. Raya Shato in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shackles. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering. Give us an open heaven tonight. Lord God Almighty, and pour your people out blessings beyond the norm. At the end of the day, God Almighty, let when the word go forth, somebody, God, will reach the altar and say, men and brethren, what shall we do? These are not the mercies we ask and say thanks in Jesus' name. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm just going to ask Peter John to read Amen. St. Mark. Amen. Chapter 2 from 2 to 11. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. St. Mark chapter 2 from verse 2 to 11. And straightway many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him, for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let him let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why do this man does speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, 
Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the sick of the palsy, Eleven, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You may be seated. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How far will you go to get or to receive your blessing? Turn to somebody beside you and say, How far will you go to get your blessing? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. When I see the work, amen, that upper room put on within one week time, amen, the team come alive, amen, among us, praise God, because we did go far, amen. We want to receive our blessing throughout this convocation, and we want, amen, for you to come as well, amen, and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Amen. So we go that far, praise the name of the Lord Jesus, to lick down two walls. Amen. Was not easy. Amen. But we make up in our mind that we will go far. Amen. For something to happen in the house. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And amen. We have to be the example for others to follow. Amen. Praise God. It, uh, one person came here. Amen. That we asked to clean the building for us that we didn't know it was a pastor then. And afterward found out. Amen. And because I was in my little piece of slippers and shorts working tirelessly in the building and my wife and the others that were with us. Praise God. Afterward, he found out that I was the pastor. He said, the lady said, are you the pastor? I said, yes. Amen. And uh, he began to exaggerate a little bit. Praise be to God. Because rare you find, amen, pastor doing certain things like that. They would rather sit back, some of them, amen, and let others do the work. But I make it up in my mind like Esther, that if I perish, amen, the work was great. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And at the end of the work, Praise God, I beg God to give us strength to come into convocation. Not knowing that, amen, I would end up preaching one night because the night was already set out with preachers. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And as tired as we were and still are, amen, I purpose in my heart. I say, God, amen, this is the sign of a true laborer, a true steward. Amen. Praise be to God. And so I give God thanks and I thank God for those, amen, who are praying, amen, for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Continue to pray. How oh, far will you go? Amen. Hallelujah. And I have proven myself, amen, and the journey is not yet over for me to go, amen, to receive my blessing because there are still more for me to receive, amen. I will reap, the scripture said, if I faint not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And in spite of the obstacles, in spite of the fight, in spite of the oppression, depression, in spite of the, 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 the war of fear that turn up on every side, oh far! But I make up in my mind that I will go the extra mile. If I perish, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The warfare turn up people of God. Amen. It's a lot. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. I'm encouraging somebody tonight. Listen, if you're playing church, 
It doesn't make no sense playing church. You better be real with God. Amen. Because what is happening in this time in church, for those who are trying to live for God, for those who are trying to go the extra mile, for those who want to go that far to receive something from God, to get that reward, to get the crown of life, to get the crown of glory, hallelujah, to get a crown of right Righteousness. Hallelujah to God. For those who make up in their mind. Listen, the scars got to be there to prove it. Jesus have the scar to prove what he has gone through. To give us this great salvation. Praise be to God. One preacher preached this week. Amen. Uh, I think it was last night. and said the church is not where it ought to be. Praise be to God. And a uh, question has been asked. When will the church ever get there? Amen. In spite of prophecy go forth that there will be a revival. Praise be to God. There will be an outpouring. There will be a repeat of Pentecost. But when will it happen? Because the state of the church right now. Hallelujah. So much lukewarm going on. So much battlefield going on. Amen. Amen. And some people don't conscious all know to what is going on. That everything that is happening in the house of God, it's a plan of the enemy to turn us against one another. To let us fight against one another. Jesus already prophesied. He said a kingdom cannot divide and stand. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's letting the disciples know. And also us as a church today. That if you divide against yourself, you will not make it. You will not stand. There will not be a generation after us. So we got to get conscious. We got to get sober. We got to make up your mind and listen. Out out is the man of schism. Go start loving my brother. Go start loving my sister. I'm going to get it right. Oh, glory to God in the highest. Let me take my time a little bit. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Praise be to God. But what is happening in the house of the Lord today? Amen. Yes, we understand a whole heap of hurt is in church. And some of the hurt are from 10 years ago, 20 years, 5 years, 6 years. Amen. And church folks can't get it over yet with. Praise God. Somebody need to get over it. Amen. Somebody might say, Pastor, amen. You might stay the go and talk. I will never forgive that bishop. I will never forgive that pastor. But the Bible said, if you don't forgive men, neither will your heavenly father give you. You have to first give to forgive those who trespass against you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Because we are so trespass and we want God to forgive us. Praise God Almighty. And this is the problem that we are having in the house of God. And this is what the devil used in to conquer us. Amen. And instead of we are going forward, we are going backward. We sing the song many times. Then forward still, it's Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spray with a conquering tread, we're going to push ahead. Praise God and roll. But praise God, even though we sing the song, there is no conquering tread and nothing in pushing away. But it got to start with you. The conquering tread got to start with you. You got to push away some stuff out of your life. The Bible says that before you come, when you come to the altar, you must leave your gift at the altar and go make it right. Listen, anything we get tonight, we have to just take it. I never me was supposed to be the preacher. Praise God. So anyway, fix me. Anyway, push me.
Because nobody can say me did plan it. Amen. Me call him name Big, Big, Big. Elder Rowe was supposed to be our preacher. For those who got the flyer, we see all the preacher lying out on it. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And Murray wasn't a part of it. Amen. So tonight, whatever God give us, we just have to take it. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But tonight, how far will you go, somebody? Amen. Some of us don't start the journey yet. You're in church 10 years, you still don't start the journey yet. You're in church 5 years, 20 years, 45 years. Some people grow in about 60 years, they have been in church and still a baby. Amen. Still don't know to give a good testimony. Still don't know to give a good exaltation. Still don't know. Amen. The list of a scripture, a scripture verse. Something is wrong. The said, grow in grace and in the knowledge of God. Some people, they grow in a lot of other stuff in church and still not growing in grace. Some folks are growing in a grace, but it's not the grace of God. Because the Bible said the grace of God that brings salvation and appear to all men. Teaching us deny godliness, godliness. Instead of some people are denying to some worldliness. But love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because all that is in the world is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It is not of the Father. The mindset needs to be changed. How far will you go? To receive your blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. How far tonight, somebody? Amen. You want something from God. Amen. But you got to make up your mind. Amen. Let me just run through a few scripture verse. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says, according to Romans chapter 8, 5 and 6. Hallelujah, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, for to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is that ring a bell in somebody here tonight? To be carnally minded is dead, and because of a holy for carnal minded mind that is in church. Uh, you find there's a holy but dead folks. Uh, amen. That don't have no life. Uh, you're speaking in tongue but you're dead. Uh, you're prophesying but you're dead. Uh, hallelujah. You're singing the songs of, die, of Zion but you're dead. Uh, hallelujah to God. You're discerning. You're dreaming but you're still dead uh, because you're a carnal. Mm. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the herd. Colossians 2, Amen 3, 2. Set your affections on things above in the realm of the spirit and not on things on this earth. We are too earthy. And that's what causing the problem. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Romans 12, 1 and 2 said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that he present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable servant, and be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mindset has to be changed. The of your mind, the thinking of your mind. Hallelujah to God. The application of your mind, the of your mind. It's 
to change. Somebody put your mind and said, my mind got to change. Lord, give me a renewed mind. Lord, give me a different mind. Lord, give me the mind of Christ. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Be will let any man spoil you. Hallelujah. True philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Amen. We got to come out from among them and be separate, said God. The company that some of us keep uh, is not a good company. Amen. They bring us into the rudiments of the world. Uh, amen. Bring us into tradition of men. Uh, when the pastor, the man of God, uh, who God set over you, the bishop, uh, and teaching you the way of God, uh, these men, these folks, uh, amen, who are haters of God, uh, amen, haters of the church, uh, amen, who going another way, uh, who having itching ears, uh, being deceived and deceiving others, uh, hallelujah. But there are some people, Paul says, uh, who never learn who ever learned, hallelujah, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Glory be to God. They are silly people. Hallelujah to God, led in a way captive. Amen. Into their own loss. Praise God Almighty because they don't lust after the things of God, but they lust after the things of men, the things of the world, to be men pieces. Jesus Christ God hallelujah to God somebody say thank you Jesus but I hear Paul said to Timothy for God had not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind how far will you go in order to go far in God? Amen. In order to possess your destiny and to pursue it and to be vigilant in it. Amen. You got to have a con. Amen. At a change mind. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Philippians says, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Philippians 4 6 to 8. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto not man, but God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. The peace of God will give you a peace of mind. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things, hallelujah, are pure, whatsoever things are lovely if there be any virtue and if there be any praise you got to think on these things what you're going to think on you're going to think on the joy of the Lord which is your strength you're going to think on him hallelujah who is the author and finisher of your faith the one who in him you live and move and have your existence but some of us get too caught up in men. Praise God. We got to reach the place where you begin to move away. Hallelujah. From being men pleasers to being God pleasers. I know maybe you didn't come to hear this tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
when your mindset is right, people of God, and when you are in good standing with God, hallelujah, and you make up in your mind, according to the question that is asked, how far will you go? Amen. In the realm of the spirit, praise God Almighty, because Paul said, put on the whole armor of God, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Hallelujah. Spiritual wickedness in high places. I come up against some spiritual wickedness in my life. Not out of road, not with sinner folks, but with same church folks. Lord, got some spiritual wickedness, some demonic attack, some life and direct stuff, some demon power to me and we talk to them. Some demon that was sent and when you ask them who sent them, you'd be surprised how they call a bishop name. Call a the name. They call an evangelist name. What are you talking about, preacher man? Some day in a church, you better believe it. Because it's not all. Say that they are Jews. Jews. Praise be to God. Got you in the house. They are goat ears. They are wolves. Passing down imaginations and every eye thing, hallelujah, that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. This is what the church should be doing. Casting down every vain imagination, everything that exalts itself against the church, against God, against his kingdom, against your family, whether at your home, in your community, hallelujah, at your workplace, wherever you are, we must cast down in vain imagination. What are you saying? Things that we would think towards you. Jesus, God said, I know the thought that I think towards you. But they are folks with vain imagination towards you. So you got to pray against the vain imagination. Because they are imagined to see you fall. They are imagined to see you die. To see, amen, car accident on your right half. To see you lose your job. To see your marriage mash up. To see your children, hallelujah, scattered all over the place. To see your family mash up. To see the church, oh God. I've been there and done that. So I can tell you about it. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But can I run on tonight? Amen. The Bible talk about as we are in the theme, how far will you go to get your blessing? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I make it up in my mind to go far. Hallelujah. Wherever I can go in God, not out of God. God, because some people gone far out of God, out of the will of God and the way of God, the move of God and direction of God, amen, to get stuff, to fit into society, to fit even in the church, amen, to mess themselves up. And I hear Paul says, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I will walk up and down in you, who lives in you and dwell in you. He's the temple of the Lord. And many people, amen, use their body, even though they are in church, but your body littering all over the place. Your body gone with tolerance. Your body gone work with you. Your body gone all kind of country. We seek out the best of your man. Yet still you say you're calling upon Jesus. Something is wrong. Oh God Almighty, 
But tonight I call back the church. I call back the church to be the church. Let the church be the church. Let people rejoice. I said, let the church be the church. Let the people the church need to repent. God sent a guy to wake up his people. Because they say it was not time for the Lord house to build. Amen. Praise God. Aren't you fed up of listening to news? Many of you are on TikTok right now. You are TikTok fans. And a whole heap of videos coming in on our phone. Every minute you see them tearing down a business place. Amen. Live and direct movies that we used to watch and enjoy and entertain. Amen. Become a reality now in our society. Amen. The movies are happening in our house. Because the devil jump in our sons and daughters. Jump in our neighbors to shoot down one another, to rob and kill, and all kind of stuff going on in the communities. You don't see what is happening, church. Let the church be the church. Get back to Pentecost. Get back to loving Jesus. Get back to repentance. Oh, if my people. Who are called by my name, hook themselves and pray and seek my face and turn shut up Messiah from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal your land. The land of Jamaica needs to be healed. The land of the church needs to be healed. People, mind is not yet ready to be healed. And the Lord will not be healed. But how far, how far will you go to see the move of God? For this latter house, amen, shall be greater than the farmer. And we desire to see it happen in our days. But if you're not willing to go far in God, you will not see the greatness. Remember that in Israel, God bring them out of Egypt and have them in the wilderness. But because of amen, murmuring, complaining, grumbling, rebellion, hallelujah, they anger God so much that God said to them, praise God, you will not leave this wilderness. Your carcasses will fail in this wilderness. And I realize that the church is going through a wilderness. Amen. And many folks are not willing to come out of the wilderness experience because they are Canaan experience. Jordan experience is there. Other experience are there. But they are comfortable. And some of them, praise God, while they are in the wilderness going through the experience, they are still thinking about Egypt that God had bring them out of and still want to eat garlic and cucumber. But God forbid tonight if me and my family. That's why Joshua said, as for me and my house. Jesus Christ, God, how many in this last hour will be willing to raise up and say, as for me and my family, hallelujah, we will become many not serving the Lord. Jesus said, if you love me, you will do what? You will keep. And many not keeping the commandment of God. That alone lets you know that you are not a servant of God. Because the Bible said, my sheep hear my voice. Amen. They that led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. You cannot be walking contrary according to sound doctrine. And call yourself a servant. Son of God. It's impossible. 
a son of God, do God will. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. How far will you go? Hallelujah, I'm coming down. Look at Amen, Anna. Anna, go far. Amen to get her blessing. Praise the name of the Lord. While Penina was pressing her sword. Where, praise God, while Penina was tormenting her every day. Amen, Anna, make up in her mind. Amen, praise the name of the Lord. That I will not seek, stop seeking God. Amen, I'm going to go far in prayer. I'm going to go far in fasting and in supplication because I need a baby from God. Benign having up a holy baby, but my room is shut up. Yeah, in spite of was more love. Get a word of portion, but did not satisfy is there in the house a mentality. On a kind of spirit, souls, away the poor Shanna, yeah, still not satisfied. I still want more. I don't get where I aim and I want to go with God yet. I don't get what I want from God yet. And in spite of Eli, mocked her mouth. Amen. Anna was conscious in her mind. And she talked to God in her mind. And just the moon, the mouth moved. And before you know it, praise the name of Jesus. Anna received her blessing by the time she leave. Amen. Shiloh and went back to her husband. Amen. And he went in unto her. Here comes the promise. Here comes blessing. Here comes because God reward her for her faithfulness. Oh, fine. Will you go? Now go far. And she read because she did not faint. Esther, go far. Mordecai said, Thou knowest if thou art come to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Some of you get saved and cut your ten in a church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there is a Mordecai that is talking sense into some of us and saying to some of us, Hallelujah. You think that you are safe in the king house? Praise be to God. When a man done with you and your family, all you them attack and kill to. Amen. And how do you not know if you are come to the kingdom? Many of you, your family needs to be saved. And this is why God saved you to get your family saved, to get your school friends saved, to get your co worker saved, to get even your neighbor saved. But some of us come to church and get comfortable because Esther at one point did get comfortable. While Amen, the family. Life is at risk. Many of us tonight, our family life is at risk. Our good friend life, even your enemy life is at risk. Because, amen, we should not want to see even our enemy downfall. For Jesus to love them and pray for them. And when we can reach the place where we want to see even our enemy save. Some people don't want to hear that. A dead him for dead, him hurt me. Him hurt me, pitney. A dead me want to see that dead. But that's not what the scripture says. The only thing God says, vengeance is mine, I will. Make me pay. And sometimes you tell God, say, God, how you take so long? Hurry up, no man, and do the boy things. Look how long. But if you spend time to listen to that still voice, small voice, you would be hearing that voice saying to you, he's a servant of God. He's a son of God. He's one of my chosen. God said to Ananias, he's my chosen. At the time when Saul gets saved and Ananias was trembling 
and saying here of how much wickedness Saul had done. And him no one go to him. But God said he's a chosen servant. Some of you got to talk to you. And even do your own in allegations against those two. God has said he's a bishop down the road. He's a spirit. Oh, you don't want to hear that. You become Jonah. And say, God, drown them off. Kill them off. Jonah never wanted the city to be saved. Jonah was upset. Jonah begs. And him go away. When are we going to move from that place? Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And listen. Jesus is not here in flesh anymore. He lives in us. Now we are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. He said, let your light so shine before men. Not only your friend, but even your enemy also. Who am I talking to tonight? That your enemy will see your faithfulness in God and be led and say, for truth, that's a true Christian. That's a true man of God. That's a true woman of God. And be led to glorify your father. Not you are going to make them get saved, you know. It's just your work they're going to see and your faithfulness. And they will look in themselves and say, boy, after me do him so, after me do her that, my God, she still stand. She still a pray. Him still a fast. Him still a go church. How far will you go? You've got to let go. You've got to lay aside. You've got to come out from among them. You've got to touch not, taste not, and angle not. In order to go far in God. In order to pursue and to recover. In order to get your blessing. Praise God Almighty. How far? It's a personal question, you know. Individual and personal. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I can't go far for you, not even my own child I can go far for. There's a limit, there's a cutoff part or point. There's certain road that you have to walk and walk it alone. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But in closing, according to the scripture that was read, Amen. The Bible said, and again he entered into Capernaum. After some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. We're too quiet in a church. There was noise that Jesus was in the house. So how when Jesus in the house, nobody know why I make no noise. Oh, some are we so quiet. Ah, when Jesus moved through the house, we still quiet some of us. Some of us can't feel no connection. Something is wrong. The nice that was in the house. And the Bible said, and straightway, many gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. This is the church. And there was, this is where the church is supposed to be. And these things that we read in the book, is not only what used to happen over 2,000 years ago, but it's supposed to still happen because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changed not. So the same operation is supposed to take place. This alone let us know that, amen, we gone far from God. And we need to come back to that place. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came, they come unto him. And bring in one sick of the palsy. Look at this. This man that was coming on a bed. Look at how these friends was faithful. 
the team said, how far will you go? These, this is, these are good friends, faithful friends, to go the extra mile for their friend. Bringing this man on a bed, they come to the door, and the door was thick with crowd. They could not go through. Can you imagine they look at the window, but it was also blocked. And they make up in their mind, amen, whatever it takes, I'm going to get to the roof. We're going to climb the building and go at the roof. And we're going to uncover the roof. And we're going to let down our friend because the healer is in the house. The deliverer is in the house. The way maker the life giver, the miracle worker. The rock in a weary land is in the house. The shelter in the time of storm is in the house. The wheel in the wheel of the wheel. God of justice. God of justice. Is there anybody with that kind of faith tonight? How far will you go for your children? Amen. Praise God. Your pitney used to have one good in a school, but now your pitney have one like lunatic. Amen. Because witchcraft is so prevalent. It is so messed up. Lord God in our society. Amen. That is not a surety. That your pitney that you spend so much money upon. You yourself will go to good school. Amen. And God Gone back to school to further yourself in life, but because of some bad mind, bitter hard people, some dirty hard people, they make up their mind when they should work and use their money, even money where they get from abroad. Make it another work worthy to mash you up, to mess up your life, mess up your marriage, some ministry. And they sweep on their mother grave and their grandfather grave that we must bring down such a person. I must destroy such a person. And the things that have happened to you, and you are wonder where God and can ping point, and if God not show you what is going on. But how far tonight, in spite of that, amen, witchcraft could have messed me up and messed up my family in so much that I would have locked my Bible and locked down building and said, I stop church. Me not bother with this thing no more. But I make up my mind, and it's an head on collision with me and principalities. I said to me, somebody go and know who God is because I make it up in my mind, but God. <laughs> so the Bible said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, then the wicked, even my enemies, keep up on me. They shall stumble, they shall fall. I will say of the Lord, He's my refuge, He's my righteous, He's my God, and He will I trust. Shall deliver thee from the seal of the fowler, He shall cover thee with His feathers, and with Shall no choice, the street shall be your shield and your buckler. Shall not be afraid, but the terror by night, not the hour by day, not the pestilence, not the destruction. Shall fall at thy side, and then you shut up a higher shut off. Shall fall at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And to God in the highest, I the faith shall give his angels charge concerning me. Hallelujah, keep me in all my ways. Let's not any time I dash my foot. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High 
How far will you go to receive your blessing? I will say up, Lord, he's my refuge, my fortress, my God in him. I love the Lord tonight because he heard my voice and my supplication. I love him too much to fail him now. And I have seen too much happen to back out on God now. God has taken me through a lot and my family. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And this is the reason why I worship him. So when you see me praising my God, I want to say to somebody, excuse me, let me praise the Lord. He picked me up and he turned me around. Excuse me, let me praise the Lord. Once in my life, it wasn't like this. Praise God, but because the heart of God was upon me. For he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to hear broken hearted, to set at liberty them that are bruised, hallelujah to God, and to give sight to them that are blind, hallelujah, and beauty for ashes, and the joy, the oil of gladness, spirit of heaviness, hallelujah to God, and I give God praise for his hand, if it was not, if it had not been the Lord, who was on my side, then the enemy would have swallowed me. And I make up my mind to go continuously that far in God, with God, as my Savior and King. Praise the name of the Lord in closing. They uncovered the roof. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Because the determination that was in them was that my friend have got to be healed. Because the healer is in town. Amen. And whatever time the church can reach the place, like these men, these friends, our family members that make up in their mind that I'm going to bring my child or my friend or co-worker to church, my neighbor to church. I'm going to go far for them because I know I serve a God. Hallelujah. That can be touched with the feeling of their infirmity. Whatever sickness they have. Possess. Some time men going on. Some people are tormented in their bed. They can't serve. They can't live a good life. Comfortable. Ecclesia, the center, the church and torment. In your bed, something creeping upon you in the night. Inking your spirit, soaking your spirit. Unless in people, unless in your children. Us, uh, rolling over and playing dead. Tonight, I wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's a quality. And I'm going to stop at nothing because deliverance must come to my house. A witch look at my son. I said I want to sacrifice him. I have to kill him. Praise be to God. But when I move God with prayer and fasting, when I talk to God, and when I confess the demons, he said demons and devils, who belongs to God, and he must lead to his destiny, he must fulfill his purpose. I said, go, son of God, but it's not my son. When the devil said, you beat me going dead. Ah, your marriage have a mashup. Listen, my man, look past Satan and say, listen, one marriage going mashup, but not my marriage. Somebody out of one family going dead, but not my family. You got to learn. You got to learn to reverse it. You got to learn to change the order, change the atmosphere. Death and life is a power of your tongue. And who's Shall he prove the wrong? Jesus, give us a key. Him, give us authority. Speak the word and change the atmosphere. 
mess up the devil plan. But some are too coward. Some are too weird is ready. Somebody train us and we get one bad dream. We start to walk in fear. But the Lord said, I to fear. But love and so mine. Your mind need to be sown. Your mind need to be sown. Makashataya. Geto robo koshanda. I say your mind need to be sown. Jesus Christ God. So they uncover the roof. In closing. When you're going to get to the stage where you're going to uncover the roof, the roof in your house. Amen. This was a literal thing was happening. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord in Capernaum. But praise God Almighty, the same history can repeat itself in your house, in upper room church, in your assembly where you worship. If you walk in the spirit, if you get close to God enough, amen. If you have that faith and determination, and believe in the God in whom you serve. Things are possible to them that believe. You can uncover roof likewise. Because there's a whole heap of sick people around you. There's a whole heap of people bound up. I up and messed up. Hallelujah by the kings. By the prince of Persia. The prince of Jamaica. The prince of America. And the prince of the surrounding cities. But we got the power to deliver them. We got the power. We just got to have the mindset. Your mind got to be transformed and be renewed. Trust God some more. You need to go further, man. How far? How far? Some of you come off of the journey and turn back. For what? Pastor, you don't understand it hard. Yes, he hard with me too. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Just like what Paul says. Not of anything good. Listen, the Bible says you have a reap, you know, if you faint not. And many people already faint. But I come to speak life into your faint spirit tonight. I come to speak life into somebody's faint spirit. Amen. Your spirit is fainting or already faint and black out. But I speak life to you. I command you to get life. Shake yourself out of that situation. Get up. Out of your condition. Get up. Out of your state. Away. Away. Put on thy garment. Put on thy beautiful garment. For ends word, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised, the unclean. I say to the church tonight, shake thyself. The dust, too much dust is on you. Sinful dust, forgiveness dust. Fighting until bearing dust, witchcraft dust, sharp, kata shato, mama shanda hasa, shata ya baba baba sa, muta baba shato, sharp, shanda ha, pito shaya, abi no holy ghost. Somebody need to shake. You can't go far with that ghost. You can't go far. Every time you go in, you head backward. Every time you make up your mind to go forward, you do step three backward. Because some depression does, some tear bearing does, a biting does, sinful does, come out from among them. For the wages of sin is better, but the gift of God. It's time to witness to somebody. It's time to witness to somebody. It's time to tell somebody about Jesus. When last you tell somebody about Jesus? When last you invite somebody to church? When last you pray for somebody? When last you speak in tongues? When last you hear the voice of God? When last you have an encounter with God? When last you see a plan that the devil setting? 
Kato Shatabaha Sikandai Nikato Shai. I'm closing. Shanda. They uncover the roof. Stand to your feet every year in this beautiful atmosphere. But uncover some spiritual roof tonight. Because there are some lame in our midst. There are some sick spiritual in our midst. Spiritual sickness. Spiritual illness. Spiritual condition. Spiritual situation. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Some of you gone far in evil. God is telling you tonight, come back. Come back to holiness. Come back to righteousness. Oh, fire. God said, I know that you're gone far. But him say he will marry to you and take you one of a family and two of a city. And he will give you pastors according to his heart that will feed you with knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge, my people... So God is going to move you from under a pastor but not feed you with no knowledge and give you a pastor that is giving you knowledge. Shut up. I'm going to let you go home. But go home with this tonight, somebody. Amen. With this in your mindset. Amen. That you're going to uncover Whatever roof in your life, roof of depression, roof of adultery, roof of fornication, roof of unforgiveness, unthankfulness, roof of disobedience, whatever the roof situation is in your life that is allowing blockage and stoppages and setbacks and delay and rejections in your life. Clear and decree tonight. There'll be no more setback, no more delay, no more barrenness. As for me, how far will you go to receive your blessing? God bless you. And God prosper you. Amen. God make his face to shine. And be gracious unto you. And give you peace. In Jesus name. I pray that this word. Will reach the heart of somebody. And somebody will look in their life. And see. If the far that you are going. If it is in the will of God. Or out of the will of God. God bless you. While Bishop come to pray and to close us off. In Jesus name. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Come on, give God a praise tonight, everybody. Let's shout the name of Jesus. Let's shout the name of Jesus one more time. Glory of Jesus. We are blessed tonight. Yes. with a powerful word from the servant of God. My heart is rejoicing. Amen. Because we are purposed tonight that we will go all the way. Comes what may. We will be going all the way. Can you lift your hands and give God a praise for the word tonight? Hallelujah. I sat there and listened to the servant of God. And he preached to me. And I'm going home tonight with a belly full. Glory be to God. Before we pray, I just want to point your finger, your hand in this direction. And said, bless your servant, Lord. Bless your servant, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Time on the wall is not waiting for us. And I'm sure many got to go to work or back to 
uh, whatever they have to do tomorrow. But we believe God that he has done something good for us tonight. Amen. Is the meeting continued tomorrow? Amen. Invite your friends. Tell them to come on out because great things are happening in the upper room. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you tonight for the table that has been spread by you. You have fed us tonight, God, with the bread of life. Lord, we thank you for your servant, the way in which you use him as an instrument of your peace. Oh God, for every one of us who have listened tonight, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will go and be witnesses. Amen to everyone. To let them know that God still saves. He keeps and is satisfied. Lord, we pray that you bless this ministry. No weapon form against it shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against it, you, God, will bring it into condemnation. Bless your man servant. And for all those that are working together in this ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that you hold them in the hollow of thine hands. Lord, have your way tonight. Amen. As we look to you and we say thanks in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I'm sure there might be some other announcement that we'll be passing on. And so we've got to hand back to our pastor. Amen. I've got to run off to Clarendon. In Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. We pray that amen journey for those who are already on their way. God bless you, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Tomorrow night is the last night of the feast. Amen. And the Bible said on the last day of the feast, something did happen. So we're looking forward for something great on the last day of the feast. God bless you. Tell somebody. If it's even the last night, they did promise you, ask them again. In